Intel's brand new Lunar Lake versus Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite. Which Windows laptop chip is the best in 2024? Well, in this video, I'm gonna answer that question because right here, I have two identical laptops. Yes, these are both Dell XPS 13s with exactly the same 1200p display set to 120 hertz. And I've maxed out the brightness on both, even though for some reason the viewing angles on this display don't look as good from the top cam, but from my view, they're exactly the same brightness. They both have 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. And yes, they're both exactly the same price, $1,400 for each of these laptops. So there could not be a more fair comparison to see which actual chip is better, Lunar Lake, versus X Elite, and yes, both of these are charged up to 100%, so I'm doing a battery life test in this video as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Unplugging both of these right here, and first off, I wanna say that Dell did a great job with the XPS, it's very thin, it's light, keyboard, everything, trackpad is all very nice. These buttons, they did a great job with this machine, especially for the price, but let's get into the performance of these chips, starting with Geekbench. You can see they're both set to best performance mode here and in the power plan as well. So right here you can see they both have 16 gigabytes of RAM right there. Lunar Lake right here. Excellent. let's run the CPU test. And here we are, we have our scores. This is actually very interesting. The Lunar Lake chip is somehow about 4% faster in terms of single core. Maybe that's because uh, maybe the XLE isn't running as fast on battery power, I'm not sure. But you do have crazy fast multi-core, 14 and a half thousand, which is about like 30% faster than about 10 and a half thousand on the Lunar Lake. So for multi-core, this is a lot faster. And I do wanna mention the actual chip SKUs, the X Elite, is the X2080 SKU, so it's not the highest end, but that one is only available in like one specific 16 inch Samsung laptop. And this one right here is the 256V. That one comes at the $1,400 price. If you wanna get the 258, that clock's a little bit higher. You have to pay 200 bucks, so these are evenly matched at 1400. So because the single core test was so close, I do wanna run speedometer 3.0 on both of these to see which one is gonna be faster. They're both running on edge. And there you go, we have our scores 23.7 on the X Elite compared to 22.1 on Lunar Lake. They're both very close, but the X Elite is edging it out by a little bit. Now, because those benchmarks are very simple and it's hard to tell a difference, I actually wanna test something that people do in the real world that relies on single core performance, which is Figma for web design. This is a project provided to us by 500 Designs, one of the best design studios based out of California. And the first method to test is to basically just zoom in and see how long it takes to load. Look at that. That loaded pretty quickly, nice and quick. And now let's do the same on Lunar Lake. I mean, look at that, they're both seem really, really quick, about the same in terms of loading speed. But the main test is to export these 12 layers at 4X PNGs. So I'm gonna get up my timer and see which one finishes first. All right, and there you go. The X Elite machine just finished in a minute and 58 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it on the Lunar Lake to see if it's faster. Oh, holy smokes, Lunar Lake just finished a minute and 43 seconds. 15 seconds faster than the X Elite, even though it seemed to be slower in terms of single core, at least in speedometer, it's actually winning in a real world test. Now, before we get into the graphics testing, I do wanna do another test for the CPU, which is Cinebench, and this puts like a realistic rendering load for CPU. We do have the ARM-based version on the X Elite, so it's a perfect match. But before I begin, I do wanna do a quick battery life test, and look at that, they're both at exactly 80 8% battery life at this point in the comparison. I'm first gonna do a single core test just to put each 
performance core to its limits in terms of rendering, and this might take a while. All right, they're finished, and you guys will not believe this. They both got 115 points, exactly the same single core score in Cinebench. So of course, let's do just a single run of the multi-core test. But first, I wanna show you the new CS27 QK 27-inch 1440p monitor from our sponsor ViewEdge, being an amazing option for those needing high color accuracy and 165 hertz refresh rate for both work and casual gaming, while their CS24 FK 24-inch 1080p gaming monitor is more compact with the same 165 hertz refresh rate, being a great option for gamers, both delivering high quality performance without a premium price tag, perfect for 2024, whether you're working from home or leveling up in game. Check out the link below for more details. All right, this is interesting, guys. I can actually hear the fans on the x -Elite model while the Lunar Lake is completely silent. So it seems like the X-Elite is getting hotter. And it makes sense why, because this thing is flying through the multi-core test. The Lunar Lake is lagging behind. And there you go, the Lunar Lake machine is finally finished. And check this out, 930 points for the X-Elite, only 487 for the Lunar Lake. That makes the X-Elite 91% faster in multi-core CPU rendering. Wow, that is a huge difference. Probably because it has 12 performance cores versus Lunar Lake that only has four performance and also four efficiency. So eight core versus 12 fast cores. And believe it or not, take a look at the battery life difference. 72% for the X Elite machine, 70% for the Lunar Lake. Because it took so long to do the test, it actually took more battery. And now let's finally get into the graphics performance, which is where the Lunar Lake chip actually excels quite a lot. I have Geekbench open right here. As you can see, I have the Adreno X185 GPU for the X Elite and the XE2 140V GPU right here. Let's run the GPU benchmark on Vulkan. And there you go, we have our scores. The Lunar Lake is 22% faster in this test, 29K compared to almost 24, but I do wanna retest it in OpenCL to see if it has any difference. And it looks like OpenCL scored worse for both. This one got about 23,400 compared to 20,400 on the x -Elite. And now moving on to something a little bit more realistic, we have 3D Mark open where it has some gaming benchmarks. The first one I wanna try is Wildlife Extreme. Got to install this one right here. So let's go ahead and run the standard test. Now, this one specifically, Wildlife Extreme, it favors ARM-based chips because it's very optimized for ARM. It's actually like a mobile game benchmark first. So let's see what we get. And wow, guys, I was not expecting this at all. The X Elite was 17.3% faster. 37.92 FPS compared to 32.33. I wonder if that's just because it has the more optimized for ARM benchmark, but that's very interesting. So with that said, I wanna move over to something that is more optimized for modern games, like something you would play on an actual PC or laptop like this, modern AAA gaming, which is Steel Nomad Lite. That's the latest and newest, most recommended test. We have the results, and this time the Lunar Lake chip is faster, 19.45 FPS compared to 15.71 on the X Elite. That makes it 24% faster for actual modern gaming, as far as this test should tell, which it should be fairly reliable. So it's pretty much a toss up so far, but let's finish with the tiebreaker. And that of course is gonna be a game. I'm gonna choose League of Legends because that's my all time favorite game. I've spent hours and hours, probably thousands of hours playing this game, so much nostalgia, but I'm trying to run it on the X Elite machine first and I'm getting this issue where I can't actually play it. So uh, let me try to restart. That might actually be an issue with the uh, ARM-based chip kind of thing with x86 compatibility because the uh, Lunar Lake is an x86 chip just like it has always been with Intel while the x Elite is an ARM-based chip and there are some issues with compatibility with different apps and games. And there it goes again, the same issue 
What? Are you serious? I just looked it up. Snapdragon X Elite is not capable of running League of Legends. Is this a joke? This is literally the one game that I would actually play on a thin and light laptop like one of these for $1,400 because it's a light game, it's pretty easy to run, and it doesn't work. Look at that, it opens up just fine, no issues at all on the Lunar Lake. And it looks like it has a massive, massive download to get started, so I'm actually just gonna shut it down. Wow, I'm so disappointed that you can't play a game like that on the X Elite. So that kind of makes me worry a little bit in terms of game support. So for gamers, you probably wanna avoid the X Elite for now. All right, and with all that said and tested, let's finally look at the battery life difference. It looks like we've been recording for just over two hours of doing heavy testing nonstop. I even did a couple of tests over again to make sure that the tests are reliable and consistent. Well, here is the moment of truth. The X Elite is at 46% battery life. Not too bad. Keep in mind, I'm maxing out the display sizes. I have it in full performance mode on each. And the Lunar Lake is at 43%, are you serious? I thought the Lunar Lake was gonna win based on the previous comparison with the M3 MacBook that we did. Holy smokes, 46% on the X Elite versus 43%. I can't believe it is actually faster, even without any efficiency cores with 12 performance cores instead of four and four on the Lunar Lake. How does that happen? Well, I think it's mostly because in Cinebench, because this CPU is so much faster for multi-core, multi-threaded tests, it finished very quickly, which is an advantage if you're doing high-performance workloads, while the Lunar Lake did take quite a lot longer to finish the test. Keep in mind, this thing was 90% faster or higher performance in that test, so that could be why we're getting worse battery life on the Lunar Lake, but I was expecting more from this chip. And keep in mind that both of these have 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage at the same $1,400 price. And also remember that this is the 256V version of the Lunar Lake. You could actually upgrade to the 258V, but you gotta pay extra. So it seems like the X Elite chip is actually a little bit less expensive in terms of the pricing since you get that nice better skew without having to pay like you do on the Lunar Lake. So keep that in mind. However, we did have better performance in terms of single core in Figma web design. This thing was 15 seconds faster, which isn't really that big of a difference. It was also faster in terms of modern gaming with the uh, Steel Nomad Lite test. It was definitely faster there, so you're gonna get more performance in modern games. And I think the nail in the coffin for gaming is that we couldn't even run League of Legends on the X Elite while it did run on this because it's an x86 chip. So you're gonna have absolutely zero issues with compatibility with any apps any games, you're good to go with the Lunar Lake chip, but not with the ARM-based X Elite, at least if you're trying to play some games. So, which one would I personally buy? Well, based on this test, surprisingly, the battery life is so good on the X Elite that if you're not playing any games, I would actually choose the X Elite as far as your app is compatible with the ARM-based chip design because the battery life held up and you get a lot more multi-core performance if you're doing work like that. But if you care more about x86 compatibility and having no issues, no worries, and especially if you wanna do some gaming, then I would choose the Lunar Lake instead. But with that said, Dell XPS 13, great laptop right here. No matter if you choose this finish or this one, the craftsmanship, everything looks great. Very light, portable, great job Dell. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below and definitely check out one of those two videos right there and subscribe above for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.